Okay, so on this video, we're gonna talk about your morning routine, what you do in the morning and how it affects belly fat. Super cool principles. So I wanna make sure you understand the rhythm, the circadian rhythm of our 24 hour cycle and how it actually contributes or can actually help your body, your belly fat. So let's dive in. So here's the principle. What is belly fat? Belly fat is excess cortisol and it's excess hormones. So this is why we see during menopause, we see that a lot of women start to gain weight in the belly because it's the excess of these two things. So we got to keep that in mind when we go to get rid of it. It's not, it, it, to get rid of belly fat, you can't, it's not doing more sit-ups. It's not like pounding the pavement and, and running even further. Um, it's not starving yourself and, and counting calories. It is being strategic about what's going on with the fat that's accumulated there. So we know that cortisol and extra hormones like estrogens, especially estrogen mimickers, tend to be what accumulates in the belly. We just take cortisol here. We're just gonna focus on cortisol in this video because when we look at the morning ritual, your morning ritual will make or break your cortisol production. This is key. So let me explain how a circadian rhythm works. At night, when the sun goes down, melatonin goes up. So light is what's gonna trigger melatonin for us. When melatonin goes up, we shut cortisol down and we shut down insulin sensitivity. I have talked about this before, where the meal you eat in the dark at night is gonna get stored as fat a lot more than the meal you eat in the light in a few hours earlier in the light you wake up the next morning you should when you wake up you want your eyes to register light in fact i love waking up with the sunrise because that's the i want to put myself in natural circadian rhythm with what the earth is doing so as the sun is coming up there's a red hue in the sky and that's the most natural way for our eyes to signal that hey the circadian rhythm is starting now. And in starting that circadian rhythm, we need to shut down melatonin production. We need to come back online with insulin and become more insulin sensitive. Now let's think about why the body would do that because you'll never forget this if you understand why the body would do this. Let's go back to our primal friend. What did they do? They didn't have light, so they usually woke up with the natural light. They came out of the cave, they didn't have refrigerators, they didn't have pantries, they didn't have, typically didn't have food stored, so they had to go find food. So our brilliant body has been pre-programmed to release cortisol two hours, about an hour to two hours after you wake up. So think about what the, we do in the modern world right now. We wake up, we grab our phone, we grab our cup of coffee, we sit down, and I don't know what your morning routine looks like. I'm gonna tell you mine here in a moment. We dive into work, we get dressed, we get in our car, we drive off to the office, we go to the office, we sit some more. In that couple hours of period of time, we have just produced more cortisol and more cortisol, and where does cortisol go? It goes to belly fat. So. In that three hour window, if you are in the morning time, if you are not minding your cortisol, it will be stored. And this is a basic principle of hormones that you, I hope you hear throughout all my videos, which is hormones that are not used are stored and they get stored as fat. So with that principle in mind, knowing that we, we need to ride that cortisol wave, use that cortisol to its our, our, our advantage so that we don't gain belly fat in the, just because of our morning routine, Let's go through, I've got five things I wanna talk about. First, can you ease into your morning? And I've talked about this on other videos, but I just really wanna point this out. This is something I really made a decision to do years ago for myself. I can't tell you how much I love it. I love it so much that when I go on vaca or vacation or I'm traveling for conferences, I hate if I have a morning routine that is like, get up, grab a cup of coffee and out you go. Can you ease into your morning? So think about your body, love on your body for a moment. You're slowly coming out of that delta wa wavelength, that th moving into theta, wavelength you're like brain is slowly waking up and if you go into your kitchen and you grab a cup of coffee and you pick up your phone you've just taken your body from this beautiful entry into the day where the brain is slowly wake woken up and you put it into a high alert beta wave brain life which is going to stimulate more cortisol than need be and it's going to stimulate cortisol sooner than than need be so, so can we ease ourselves into the morning i can tell you what i do i get up i i meditate i listen to music sometimes i literally have this one chair in my house where i'll just sit and i'll look 
out the window and I'll just let my thoughts come. I don't go and look at my, my phone. It, it, I wait at least an hour, sometimes two hours before I even pick up my phone and look at my email or any socials. I always ease myself in. Okay, second one. Can you delay your coffee by an hour or two? I know that sounds brutal, but how about we do this? How about you have a cup of tea first? If you're like me, I like the ritual of something warm, especially in the winter. Maybe you meditate, listen to some music, keep the lights low, and just let that whole, your whole body naturally wake up. And then after an hour or two of that, now go to your coffee, because what you're doing is you're, at, you're riding that normal cortisol wave. If we look at cortisol here for a moment, what happens is if you wake up, you check email, you do coffee, coffee right away, you get one cortisol spike there, and then an hour to two hours late, late, later, you get two cortisol spikes. Now you have two bouts of cortisol that you've got to deal with. And where's it gonna be stored? It's gonna be stored in belly fat. So let's delay our cup of coffee. Okay, third one, get some morning light. I'm back at this idea that I want us to start to get into this circadian rhythm. It's when we're in this rhythm of the day and night, we don't tend to get excess. We don't tend to store all this excess. If you, if you stop and you think of the chronic diseases in the world right now, you think of the reasons why we gain weight for no apparent reason, especially my menopausal women out there. Largely, it's because we're out of out of sync with nature. So let's put you back into sync with nature by just slowly waking up. And one of the things you want to do is you want to see light. So when your eyes see light, especially red light, it starts to shut that melatonin production off. So Maybe you put your meditation chair by a window so you can look out and see the light coming in. One of my chairs is right by a window so that when I'm looking out the window, I, I can see that the, the we're going from a red light to a brighter light. So my eyes are registering that and just because I'm looking out the window and doing nothing doesn't mean that nothing's happening inside my body. I'm looking out the window, I'm seeing the light, I'm letting my thoughts come and I'm gradually getting cortisol to raise. Melatonin is slowly shutting off. So it's, it's a way to work in sync with the body. Now, if you, you, if it's winter time or you don't have um, access to a window, this is where I love red light. And, and you can just flop on a red light and just turn it on. I do this a lot when I'm meditating or I'm doing breath work in the morning. I'll just put my red light on and have it shine on me. And it's again, it's a message to my brain. Hey, it's morning. We're going to wake up and we're going to start this circadian rhythm. Okay, I gotta interrupt this video because I have a free guide for you so you can master fasting. It's called a beginner's guide to a fasting lifestyle. And all you've gotta do is click here and you can jump right in. Okay, now that we got those first couple hours set, when we get that cortisol spike, let's just for the simplicity's sake, say it's two hours after you wake up. When you get that cortisol spike, do not sit on it, move, get up, use it because we know that the belly fat is stored in cortisol so let's use it so what you can do is do your workout is best in the morning so make sure that you're you're using that and if you're not like a big worker outer you just just go for a walk i mean i've gone through periods uh, where i work out a ton i've gone through periods where i'm not working out much but i'm always walk i never give up on walk and when i feel as a 53 year old woman like hey there's a little more belly fat ha happening to me my brain goes, are you moving in the morning? Are you using that cortisol that is being released in the morning? And it, I'm telling you, it works like a charm if you go and you work out early in the morning. Now, you could do things like, if you if you really wanna be uh, enthusiastic, you could do HIIT training. I've explained this on several videos. Um, and if you don't feel like working out that early, then go ahead and just go for a walk. But let's work out in the morning so that we can go after that cortisol, so we wanna use that morning cortisol. Okay, last thing. The morning time presents an insulin-sensitive moment. Now, so I wanna be really mindful of those of you who've been following following me for a while, you're trying to figure out your eating window, I really want you to pause and think about what I'm about to say. So if we know as melatonin goes down, you become more insulin sensitive. That means that when that moment kicks in that you are more insulin sensitive, you also are going to be better at processing carbohydrates. So one theory and one idea is have your carbs earlier in the day. Use that insulin sensitive moment as the insulin sensitivity switch gets turned on. A couple hours after you're up, it's light out. Maybe those of you that are struggling to lose weight, I just want to offer this as be curious about this. Maybe your eight hour eating window starts at eight in the morning. And maybe you have breakfast at eight in the morning and you close down that window at four in the afternoon. 
if you're really trying to go after this insulin, ride this insulin sensitivity moment, eating your carbs earlier in your day, moving your in, eating window up to earlier the day, in the day, making sure that by the time you go to sleep, your body isn't having to digest food, it's not having to deal with high blood, blood sugar as it goes to sleep, could be one of the greatest weight loss hacks you have ever, ever seen, okay? As always, I hope that helps. And here's the last thing I wanna say. Put in the comments how much weight you've lost following my work here on YouTube. Or those of you who've done the 30-day fasting reset in Fast Like a Girl, let me know how much weight you lost in 30 days following that protocol. The DMs, the messages, the comments, the things I'm getting, blowing my mind. So cool, and I'd love to hear your story as well. As always, I hope that helps. Okay, where are my gals that are struggling with hormonal imbalance? Bloated, feeling like you're not making progress with weight loss? You need to add these foods in so that you can support better hormonal health. There is a lifestyle that estrogen wants you to live, and there is a lifestyle that progesterone wants you to live.